What do you call a Corolla sedan when the stereo is pumping? Rock and roller! <laughs> this all new Corolla sedan doesn't look as sporty as its hatchback cousin. It's not quite as fun to drive either. But the Corolla hatchback's Achilles heel has always been its tiny boot. I've seen backpacks with more space. Which is where the Corolla sedan comes in. The boot is twice as big as some Corolla hatchback models. The boot is so big, you could almost fit an entire under 12 soccer team in here. With 470 litres of space, it's almost as big as the Camry boot. The interior is exactly the same as the Corolla hatch, and that's no bad thing. Comfortable seats, nice dash layout, sensibly labelled controls, it all works really well. Standard features across the Corolla sedan range include this new 8-inch touchscreen system, and it now comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is great. Mid-spec and top-spec models also get this wireless phone charger, which is great. It's really big, it'll fit some of the bigger smartphones out there. The rear seat is not a bad place to spend time. The seats themselves are quite comfy. You've got this fold-out armrest with cup holders, electric windows, and of course, ISOFIX hard points for the baby seats. However, it is missing rear seat vents, which is a bit of an issue for me. The all-new Corolla sedan also gets hybrid power for the first time, claiming super low fuel economy. Normally these claims are impossible to repeat, but on a 97 kilometre mixture of city, urban, freeway and country driving, I managed an even better result. The small flat battery pack in hybrid models doesn't impinge boot space either. My only issue with the hybrid is that it's completely gutless. Nail the throttle and you can barely feel the twin electric motors giving the flaccid petrol engine a boost. The other option is a bigger conventional petrol engine and it delivers significantly more herbs and spices. The Corolla is a placid car to drive by and large, the suspension diligently smoothing out poor quality country road surfaces with graceful ease. It's not as tenacious to drive as the hatch, but it's actually a lot more satisfying to pitch into corners than I had anticipated. I like that all models come with adaptive cruise control, which makes highway driving more relaxed as a result. And the safety systems that are fitted as standard to all models are very impressive. We're talking autonomous emergency braking, road sign recognition, auto dipping high beams, the list goes on. With a five year warranty and some of the lowest cap price service costs in the industry, the new Corolla sedan is easy to recommend. It fixes the Corolla hatch's shameful cargo space. And while the rock and roller sedan doesn't reinvent the genre, it's reliable, cheap to run, and easy to drive.